What is up YouTube, it's Annie Redicate here, and today I'll be talking about my balance Hackmon team. Um, we'll be going over the different Pokemon on the team, some different variations you can put on with them, and uh, what kind of roles they play in the team and things they counter in the uh, current metagame. So first off, we have our lead, uh, Deoxys Attack Form. Usually you want to run a Focus Sash on this set, so you get a guaranteed Spore off. Uh, Mold Breaker will be to counter things such as um, Magic Balance and also those Sturdy Jinjas. It's obviously a very good lead set, sporing anything that stops a lot of setup stuff, stops a lot of like hazard setting, or anything really that kind of starts off in the beginning of the match. You have Spore, obviously puts off the sleep, and Mold Breaker helps, like I said, against stuff with Magic Bounce. You don't have to worry about Grass types not being affected by Spore, really nice. Um, Psycho Boost, I really should switch that out for um, Genesis Supernova, however I like being able to do more than one if I case I switch them out to like Regigigas. A lot of times I'll Spore and switch out or I'll go for one attack and switch out. That's why I kind of like having Psycho Boost instead of Genesis Supernova. Knock Off is obviously, so you can knock off a lot of items, has a lot of utility use there. Also making sure you're able to hit Sajinja without having to subtract minus two stats. Uh, Extreme Speed just a well-rounded out. Still hits relatively hard, you're what, 439 attack as a Deoxys attack with his um, without speed nature. So that's pretty helpful. Um, for this distribution, I go 252, 252, uh, 252 plus in speed, um, just so you can not speed as much as possible. You can run the uh, Deoxys speed, however, I prefer the extra damage on attack. He's still just about one of the fastest things in the metagame. Alright, so up next, we got the most annoying Pokemon in Balance Hackmons. If you don't have Stealth Rocks or status, uh, pretty much impossible to beat uh, Shedinja. Um, obviously, I think most of you know this if you know anything about Balance Hackmons. Uh, with Sturdy, he can only die to status and Stealth Rocks, or like Spikes, obviously. Um, super annoying to deal with if you don't have these, and that's why you'll see some of the other things kind of cater to him. I run Lumberry, so Stom, like Toxic won't work the first time and such. Uh, for Moveset, Endeavor, Shadow Sneak, Toxic, and Ice Shard. I don't run the Sword Sand setup set, I don't think usually... I think like they do still have something that sets up stealth, uh, stealth rocks or spy, um, toxic. You're more you're more beneficial to just go for the endeavor instead of trying to set up the sweep with shadow sneak. He still doesn't do that much damage. He's not that strong. Um, obviously, you're gonna endeavor turn one and then try to ice shot or shadow sneak. Whatever one will work. Uh, toxic for stuff that has leftovers. And for a stat distribution, you might as well just go all attack and speed. Defenses don't matter at all, and special attack obviously doesn't either. Um, things that counter this. Obviously things that um, set up stealth rocks and such, you're going to need something that balances it. I have Garantina on the team to bounce rocks back. I really should get someone who has Defog, but I'm not really sure who to put that on. So I don't know. Um, yeah, other than that, he's pretty self-explanatory, easy to use. You want to make sure that uh, the stuff that has Toxics are already dead or they're not in when you're switching into Jinja. Because Lumberry obviously only works once. But uh, he's a really good Pokemon to use, can usually get you a lot of damage off of an Endeavor. But make sure you don't get him killed by stealth rocks. Okay, up next we got Regigigas, who's obviously a beast of a mom without its stupid ability slow start. I give it Contrary and just run a bunch of boosting moves, Super Power V, Create Dragon, Ascent, and Recover to keep him healthy. I run Expert Bell for the super effective damage. That, that gives you pretty good coverage between fighting, flying, and dragon. You've been hitting a lot of things super effective. I could see running... I wouldn't run Life Orb because he's having Recovery. It's kind of contradictive to itself. Uh, contrary. Um... <laughs> Uh, for his investment, I run 248 HP, 252 plus attack, and then the rest in special defense. I just threw in special defense. Um, the really nice thing about its different moves is that it gets super power, which increases attack and defense. V create increases speed and your defenses, and Dragon Ascent just increases your defenses. He gets bulky really quick, and again, unless you have status, which you can just switch in the Garantina to balance it back, you're pretty much set at that point. Um, I like to bring him in after I support something with Deoxys to get yourself an early boost, usually in superpower. After that, he hits like a truck. I mean, look at these base stats. He's got uh, 110 HP, 160 attack, 110 defenses, and 100 speed. That's nothing you can laugh at. That's going to be hitting pretty hard. Um, overall, really good thing. It works well with Garantina too because he's only weak to fighting and Garantina obviously is immune to that. And also Regigigas is immune to sh Shadow Balls while Garantina is obviously not weak to Shadow type moves. So they have a very good uh, synergy use there. Up next we got our Imposter Chansey. Uh, really an annoying Pokemon to use. You can't really set up while this thing's still alive. Uh, obviously Eevee Light's going to boost even after it transforms and the fact that it gets to basically take all those stat boosts and its HP stats still base 250. You basically, basically are a robber, you're basically stealing other person's setup stuff and just sweeping with it afterwards. Uh, really cheap mon. Besides this though, it's not that good. You can't sit in it against like a Garantina, it's not going to do that well. 
Um, but yeah, this thing's pretty self-explanatory. Full HP investment. I have to run defense, but it doesn't really matter because you're just going to transform anyway. Um, in case you can't transform for some reason, like they have another EV, I run Soft Boil, Toxic, Seismic Toss, and Heal Bell. Typical Chansey set. Um, I could probably run Defog on this, but then again, you don't get that much of it. I've never gotten a chance to use its actual moves. It always just ends up getting transformed pretty much right away. Uh, pretty self-explanatory mon counters any of the things that set up like Regigigas or any mon that tries to set up anything with contrary like almost every every team has at least someone who uses contrary so if they set up a bunch like against you like you make a few misplays or they get a crit before you can kill it just send this thing in afterwards don't switch it in but like obviously once somebody faints send this in it'll pretty much just hard counter that evil light boost okay up next we got Garantina the wall of the team uh, typical leftovers and defense invested or special defense invested with HP Ability that shows magic bounce to help protect Shijinja and to absorb or to bounce back status conditions. <clears throat> Dragon's Hell gives you a phasing move. Toxic obviously try to wear down of the stuff. Uh, Roost and Defog. I do have Defog on him. I don't know why I kept saying I didn't have a Defog user. Um, just in general, kind of a good mon. Really bulky. It's not going to die to anything really quickly. It's the wall of Ubers for a reason. Um, counters a lot of things that try to set up. You can drag and tail them out. Defog any stat, not defog any stealth rock users. Basically, really good support mon and pretty critical to the team. I wouldn't replace him with any other Pokemon, honestly. And he has good synergy with Diancie and Regigigas with their uh, them not being they're being them being immune to two of his main weaknesses. Last but not least, oh, kind of least because I don't really need her that much. It's kind of like the utility slot. I chose Diancie Mega. I uh, gave her a life orb with Pixelate and Boom Burst. Hits like, hits like a truck. Basically, the last slot, you can put anything you want, as well as Regigigas, but I recommend Regigigas. Very good sweeper in uh, Balance Hackmons. This is just to do pump out damage. I've not really had that much success with it. I kind of want to switch it out for other mons. Definitely the least important person of the team. Um, Boom Burst, Diamond Storm, Protect, and Earth Power. Protect just to scout some stuff out. And then just three sweeping moves. I can probably give her something else instead of protect. It might help. Um, Pixelate Boom Burst. It's like a truck. That's all I can really say about her. And, oh, I don't even have Eevees on her. Oh, well, that probably would help more. But, um, uh, yeah, she's not been that great, but I haven't had Eevees on her apparently. So all those videos I use with her, she's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. I don't think I've really used her, though, in the videos. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, check out the rest of the channel for more of the content. I have some more Balance Hackmon videos up, so make sure to check those out. And as always guys, I'll see you guys later.